your brain! <sighs> the old pitcher's mound. You and I have spent a lot of time up here. I love baseball. I could play baseball every day of my life. You're an unusual girl. Let's say it's the last half of the ninth inning, two out, and you're up to bat, Chuck. Even though you're my friend, I still have to try and strike you out, right? Of course. There's no other way to play the game. You kind of like me, don't you, Chuck? I worked out the schedule for our teams. Take a look and tell me what you think. You touched my hand, Chuck. You sly dog. <sighs> I have a problem, Linus. I think Chuck likes me. He's nice and all that, but how could I flip over someone like Chuck? I could strike him out in three straight pitches. <sighs> if a person likes another person, but that other person doesn't like the first person as much as that first person likes the other person, what should the other person do? Say that again. If a person likes another person, but that other person doesn't like the first person as much as that first person likes the other person, what should the other person do? I don't know. I don't want to hurt Chuck, but how can I possibly look him in the eye and tell him I don't like him as much as he likes me? Write him a Dear Chuck letter? Linus, you're a genius. Beep. <laughs> look, look, I got a letter. I think it's from the little red-haired girl. <clears throat> what? I know you like me, and in my own way, I like you too. Did you hear that? She likes me too. That's not from the little red-haired girl, Chuck. It's from me. You like me. I do? How can you be so stupid, Chuck? Your heart is breaking, and you don't even know it. I don't. By golly, if I ever hit a deep drive into center field, and I round first base, and I round second base, and I round third base, and I go tearing into home like a runaway freight, you better not be in my way. Mm. That's the longest thread I've ever heard. 